everybody, it's the Kentucky Girl here. And today I'm actually in Kentucky. I'm at Emmert Falls Trail and we're on the look for some beautiful fall foliage. And the last time I brought you all here, we were in a drought, so the waterfall didn't have much water on it. We had rain all day yesterday. So I'm in hopes that the waterfall will be real pretty today. So let's go see some beautiful fall foliage. One of the things, here's some of the golden colored trees. One of the things I want to show is how the trees have labels on them. Sugar maple. And I would like to learn to identify trees. And this will help me having these little tags. Honey locust. And before I get started real heavy on the trail, we're in Meade County, and that's right on the Ohio. If you see that tree line over there on the hill, those trees are in Indiana. And we're on the Kentucky side of the Ohio River. Okay, here's another identification. Red cedar. Now we can head into the woods. So here we are entering Hemert Falls. And look at the pretty leaves I see already. The ground is just covered with them. Oops, here's our tree identification. Hackberry. Oh, this is just going to be like a fall winterland in here. Pretty fern. It's just a carpet of beautiful reds and golds and browns. Only thing missing when I come through here in the summer, I could hear the birds. But I guess they've flew south already. And here's so I'll, I'll go up and show you the tree. And then we'll go into the name. Persimmon.
just going up to the sky showing how pretty those trees golden trees are against the blue sky Oh, some wildlife. A little gray squirrel. Interesting tree formation there. Wonder what caused that. And looks like we're a quarter of a mile in. Got another tree to identify over here. Go up. Have to get off trail a little bit. To American Elm. There's some kind of berry over there. Compared to coming over here in the summer, it is so quiet. It used to come in the evenings when it was cool and you could hear the crickets starting and cicadas and the birds. It's very quiet in the woods in the fall. Well, this little stream bed is dry, so I hope that's not an indication of how we'll find the waterfall. Okay, I came up on something kind of interesting. The ground is all rooted up. But I don't believe we're in any kind of wild boar country. I don't know what could have done that. If anybody knows an explanation, put it in the comments. Just seems one area is like that. Maybe some other kind of critter. Yeah, my husband's saying maybe deer. Now here's some more. Looks like there was gold in there and somebody's digging. Oh, I think I hear one lone little bird. I was missing my bird sounds. Coming out in a clearing. 
a lot of variety on this uh, trail. It's not a straight stretch for sure. Well, I've come up on some strange looking things. I think they might be Osage Orange. I don't know. If anybody knows what these are, leave it in the comments. I'll try to get close up here on one. Interesting looking things. And here's again where I wish I knew more about the trees. This is where all these things that I suspect are Osage oranges. This is the tree that they come off of. This just kind of caught my eye. Interesting formation there. This looks like somebody could, I'll, I'll bring this into the screen if you can see it. My husband uses that. I guess this is the kind of thing out in the woods where they find where stuff's grown like that. It's kind of neat. This is a new sign here. I've been seeing some little red arrows and it looks like the Lincoln Trails chapter is building a trail bike path out here. Interesting. And then also out in the middle of nowhere, a picnic table. I don't recall seeing this last summer, but now that there's a sign over there. There's another entrance to this. If you came the Buttermilk Falls Trail, which you enter in over there, it's also an entrance to this trail. But we came in the back side. It's more more of a primitive trail. And we have a little footbridge to go across here. Now there's some water on the little stream, but not like I would think. Yesterday was October the 26th. We had like a tropical storm. Rain, heavy rain all day. I don't know what we'll find at the waterfall. But anyway, we're having a nice little walk through the woods. The crisp fall air. I just love that sound, the water trickling over the rocks. So we are making our ascent up to the falls. And this part of the trail goes along the little creek that the falls feeds into. <laughs> Ran into some 
walkers with dogs. You hear the dog barking. And I see the shelter house, so we are here. I can hear the waterfall too. Well, I see the waterfall, and after a day of torrential rains all day long, it's still. So there is Emmert Falls. It's a tall waterfall, but not real spectacular with water coming down, but I won't complain. I like a waterfall. It's pretty seeing it with the leaves turning. There's the top of it. I know I apologize for this, my gimbal work, but it's kind of hard to learn that up means down and down means up. I'm amazed at these odd trees. I wish I could identify them just by their bark. That one there looks pretty unique. Well, that was Emmert Falls. And it's a whole lot easier to come up this hill than go down with the wet leaves. So I believe I'm going to turn the camera off so I don't film my demise. Thanks for coming along with me. This is Kentucky Girl, Emmert Falls in Meade County, Kentucky. See you next video. And this is sitting on the little shelter house. Little brick floor and cedar building. It was very nice. Somebody built that so people can enjoy sitting back here listening to the waterfall. Here's a better picture of that walking stick. We used to watch Dave Shuffett in Kentucky Life on KET, and he had a fascination with all kinds of walking sticks that people had made him and so forth. 
Um, so we got interested in that, and that's a friend of ours had found found that growing in the woods like that. So I just thought I'd give you a close-up of it.